All right, now that we have our machine tolerance and our filament tolerance, we're going to go ahead and create an object that hopefully fits. Um, so in 123 to design, do new design. Okay, change your view to the top. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the marker um, that we measured. And so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find the circle sketch. Okay. And we measured 12.10 on the thickest part of the marker. Now that's actually the diameter, okay? And what's tricky is that 123D design wants our radius. So we have to divide the diameter by 2 in order to get the radius. We have to cut that diameter in half. So my measurement was 12.10. If I divide that by 2, I'm going to go over here to the calculator, divide by 2 hit enter, I get 6.05. Now this is when our tolerance comes into play. So my tolerance is 0.7. So I'm actually going to add 0.7 to that number and that gives me 6.75. So if I come back to 123D, that's when I'm going to make the radius of my object. Okay, 6.75. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep looking at the top, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to add the next level up, but I'm going to add it to the right of that sketch a little bit. So I'm going to choose my circle sketch. Okay, my next level in the marker measured 10.71. So I'm going to go back to my calculator, clear everything. 10.71, remember that's my diameter. In order to get the radius, I have to divide by 2. Okay, so that gives me 5.355, and then I'm going to add my tolerance, so plus 0.7, and that gives me 6.055. Okay, so I'm going to come back to 123D, 6.055, and hit enter. And then I'm going to draw the last smallest little tube, and that measured, I'm going to clear everything, okay. 5.57 divided by 2 to get the radius and then I'm going to add 0.7 to that so 3.485 okay 3.485 all right so I have my three heights of my marker and now I'm going to go ahead and extrude those shapes a little bit so here's a fun trick if you click the object the little gearbox will pop up and it'll tell you what different options you have and one of those is extrude so I'm going to go ahead and extrude this, and this is the thickest part of the marker. We're not going to use a whole lot of this, so I'm just going to say 10 millimeters for now. Okay. Now, the next level up, the sort of black part, I'm actually going to measure that with my calipers. And I got a height... of about... Now you want to only measure to where it uh, meets the, the thinner part. So I got 26.8. Okay, so I'm going to click my circle, extrude, and I'm going to just type 26.78. Okay, and then this last little bit, I'm going to measure that with my calipers at all as well. And I'm going to measure um, basically from the, the base of the thin side all the way up to the top of the marker. And I get 11.63. So I'm going to extrude that up. All right. So this is the, the three parts of my marker. And I'm going to show you how to join them um, pretty easily. So first off, I'm going to hide my sketches because I only want to work with the solid objects right now. So over here on the eyeball icon, I'm going to click Hide Sketches. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate this, the panel down. Let's see. Oh. Get a view kind of like this. And this Snap Tool is super easy for attaching one object uh, one face of one object to the center of the face of another object. So I'm going to click the snap tool, okay, and it says select the faces of solid to snap. 
So I'm going to click this middle marker piece, and then I'm going to pan up and click the top of this piece, and bam, adds it. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller one. Click the snap tool, click that face, and go all the way up. Whoa. And click that. Bam. All right. And now I'm going to click home so that I can get back. All right. So that's kind of our marker there. Um, and if you want, you can even get it looking a little bit more like a marker by using that fillet tool. Everybody likes fillets. Okay. Selecting that circle and just kind of. There we go. Perfect. Ish. All right. So that's our marker. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that just over to the side a little bit. All right, we're going to be done with that for a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to build a very simple two marker holder. Um, but feel free to, to kind of embellish this or, or get creative with it. So I can go back to my top view, but I'm going to zoom out. Okay. And I'm going to work over here in the left-hand side. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to make it 15 by 15. All right. And now I'm, oh, oh, oh. there we go, change that view. I'm going to extrude it up. Maybe another 15. All right, so we've got this nice cube. I'm going to go ahead and hide my sketches again. All right, now I'm going to draw another cube on top of that. And I'm going to make this one actually 15 by 45. All right. And I'm going to extrude this one up. I'm going to say 20. Hmm. I'm going to say 15, actually. 20 just seemed too big. 15. There we go. All right, hide my sketches again. Now I'm going to snap this longer brick on top of this new one. Okay, so I'm going to use the snap tool, select the bottom face of that cube, and go up, and the top face of that one, and there we go. Okay, so that looks okay, but I don't know. It's it's a little blocky, um, and you also should know that this is going to cause some issue because it has so much overhang that's a 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to do, actually instead of making it fillet, I'm going to show you the chamfer tool. Okay, The chamfer tool is just like fillet except that it makes uh, the edges flat. Okay, So I'm going to rotate around here, I'm going to select that edge and I'm going to push it way in. All right, So that lines up just like that and hit enter to save. And now I'm going to do it on this side too. enter to save perfect all right so the next thing I want to do is I want to add a circle for the filament to be pulled through okay so I'm actually going to go ahead to the bottom yeah. and I'm gonna sketch a circle all right so our filament is uh, in theory 1.75 millimeters um, and I could just adjust the tolerance uh, and make it um, a little bit bigger, um, 2.14 or 2.15 would be adding my tolerance to it. Um, and remember that is the diameter, not the radius. So if I divide it 2.14 divided by 2 gives me 1.07. Now that would be good, except that it doesn't give us a whole lot of wiggle room uh, if we try a different filament or even a different printer. Um, so I'm actually just going to set my radius to be two, and that just gives us plenty of room to move around in. Okay, and then I'm going to select that circle, okay, and I'm going to extrude it. I need to rotate my workspace a little bit, and I'm going to extrude it all the way through, and that's going to create a hole all the way through my object for my filament okay and that should give us plenty of room and you know just for decoration's sake I am going to fill it 
this edge. So I'm going to go up here, find the fillet tool, and I'm going to select my circle, and I'm going to play with. You know, you don't want to be, you don't want to go overboard, but you know, a little bit of style is not bad. There we go. So fillet of like two. All right. So now it's time to add my marker. Um, to my marker holder. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a copy of my marker. So Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and then just drag it over a little bit. All right. So with, oh, I forgot to hit enter. Command C, Command V, drag it over a little bit, hit enter, and that saves it. Okay. So with this first marker, I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate it about 130 degrees that looks pretty good maybe it's a start at least and let's go ahead and move it into our holder and we can start to see where where it's going to lay okay and you want to make sure that your your tip is crossing over the filament so it's got to cross this circle and this circle, and that looks pretty good. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, in Tinkercad, you would make this a whole and then group them together. Um, in 1, 2, 3D, what you do is you subtract one object from the other. Okay. Uh, and I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing that the marker holder is coming out on the side a little bit more. And I don't necessarily want that. I want that marker to be in there. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to move it in some. This way, it's all the way in. Nope, oh, it's not quite still. Let's rotate it some more. Alright, now it looks all the way in, but we don't want this thick part of the marker hitting the filament, so we need to back it out a little bit. So I'll raise it up, and move it out, raise it up, move it out, maybe too far out, maybe raise it down some, there we go. All right, that is starting to look pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. So first thing we need to do is we need to combine all of this to be one solid object. Right now, it's actually treating it as just a group. And a group means that it will move everything, um, but it's not actually going to treat them as one object. So we come up here to the Combine tool, and we can choose Merge. And we can click this solid, and this solid, and... I can it and hit enter and then we're gonna hide this solid so that we can see our tip of our marker and we're gonna merge everything else together too there we go select those two and hit enter now I can bring my marker holder back by clicking the show solids and meshes and I'm also gonna merge this marker holder so that it's one object so I'm gonna click merge click that and that and hit enter now that's one solid object, and now to subtract, I'm going to select the target, which is the object I want to remove stuff from, and then the source is the object that I want to remove. So I'm going to click that and hit enter, and there we go. Now there's my marker hole, okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this other marker now. So even before I move it, I'm just going to merge it. Hit enter, and now merge the top to the bottom, hit enter. All right, now I'm going to move it over. Rotate it around. Oops, that's not the path I want to rotate it from, so I'm going to try this again.
All right, I think I've got it in a good place. I'm going to go ahead and subtract it. So remember, you click the object you want to subtract from, and then the object that you want to subtract, and hit Enter. All right, and there is my marker holder for two markers. Give that one a go. You can see I've got a little bit of a hole out here. That's, uh, that's probably not a really good design. I should uh, maybe go back and fix that. But that is a basic marker holder. So give that a try. Try printing uh, you know, one that just has two and then go back and see what you can do. Maybe make a three or a four marker holder. Um, try to think about maybe making it, uh, designing it a little bit different. Uh, maybe filleting some of the edges or uh, just taking a different design approach to it altogether. And then make sure that your marker fits.